Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks, and today we're going to take a look at YouTube and uh, just briefly a little history of YouTube and then look at what do we need to do to get our videos seen by people because obviously that's what we want. Is is the metric we're looking for here subscriptions? Is it page views? Uh, you know, what is it and how is it that we got to um, uh, structure our videos so that people will actually be able to watch them. So the first thing I wanted to do is, is go over what prompted this. And Susan and Andrea were having a conversation over DMs, and, and Andrea came up with this as a title for a video, and she said she was going to test it. Now, I immediately had a bunch of red flags go up because years ago, back in the 2008-2009 time period, I was actually creating an online course at the time on uh, what I was calling YouTube Secrets, and it was all about what you had to do essentially at that point to game the system in order to get your videos to be watched. And I shot a whole bunch of videos, and I was getting to the point of marketing it. This was long before ClickFunnels, long before anything else, like I said, 2008, 2009. And then um, one day Google just changed their entire algorithm, and everything that I was teaching was just thrown in the garbage can. So... Um, I never did up, end up posting it, but I've been on YouTube for a very long time. But one thing I wanted to say is uh, just a little history of YouTube here. It started off as a dating site back, back in 2005, and then in November 2006, it was bought by YouTube by one point, for $1.65 billion. So it's three guys here, you see their names. They split up over $1.5 billion, so that's not bad for being a startup and 18 months later uh, getting a $1.65 billion buyout from YouTube. Um, that don't suck at all. For a while. Not, not YouTube, they got bought out by Google, I I guess. But I've been around YouTube, like I said, for a very long time. And so I tried to look into some of the history of my account. And I saw way back here, February 14th, 2005, I subscribed to Spencer Anglin's account. Now he's a friend of mine. Well, that date, February 14th, if I'm not mistaken, is right here, February 14th, 2005. So somewhere between 2010 and 2005, uh, they just happened to put in the date there when YouTube started, I subscribed to Spencer's account. But if you go up here, here's one from Ed Dale, here's, here's one from Paul Colligan, and actually Paul Colligan's site is still live, and he has not posted in here uh, for at least eight years uh, since he's posted in here from what I can see on the screen. So I just uh, thought that was interesting, but for myself, I started posting heavily in uh, July of 2009. At the time, I was helping a buddy of mine do a radio show, and we were filming it and then putting the videos up online. And you can see here, some of these videos did pretty good. 10,000 views. You notice the ones with the girls in them, they uh, seem to get a lot more views than the ones with us, uh, us guys. But again, this was 14 years ago, so we didn't have quite as much gray hair as we all have now. So if we stick with the fact that Google bought YouTube in uh, 2006, we can go back here to our page rank, which is what Google used initially and still uses very heavily to this day to determine what to show on the page. Now they got a thousand different filters on the top of page rank, but it really comes down to the number and quality of links to a page on the internet. Now videos work the same way. How many links do you have to your video and what is the quality of those links coming in? So again, just like WordPress blogs work great under this algorithm because there's so much internal linking inside of WordPress. You got your category, you got your tag, and you got your author taxonomies as along with other taxonomies that you can put in yourself. All of those are creating backlinks because every page may have 20 links to 20 other pages inside of your blog. And I say blog page, blog posts, they're interchangeable because these are all pages on the internet. Now, the same thing goes with videos on YouTube or anywhere else. How many incoming links are there to it? How many uh, how many places has this video been embedded? And I don't think people link to YouTube videos nearly as much as they used to, and I don't think they embed them nearly as much as they used to. So I'm not really sure how well the uh, page rank 
actually is still affecting YouTube's videos or not. So if PageRank is maybe, maybe, um, I would say there, what you want to do is make sure you put up a blog. You can, of course, build a blog inside of ClickFunnels now. You can put in your videos and you can embed the video and also link to the video in there. And then, of course, make sure that you do all of the cross-linking inside of there by setting up your your category pages and your tag pages and your author page just like you would set it up if you were building a WordPress blog. So all those things will help to give signals to YouTube that your video is important and therefore it will raise it up in the search results. Now one of the questions always becomes is how important are the number of subscribers you have to your channel. And you can see right here, I have 2,911 subscribers to my channel, and I get about one subscriber per day, as you see here, 25 in the last 28 days. But it's been consistently for years, uh, pretty much one per day. But the problem with a subscription is just because somebody subscribes doesn't mean they see your video. And if they don't see your video, if they don't watch your video, if they don't click on something involved with your video, then it does not really send a signal to Google, to YouTube, that your video is um, you know, important and should be raised up. So let's just take a look here. I just happened to pull up this, this website here. And um, if you look here, we can come down and we can say, okay, we want to subscribe to this channel. It's some guy playing some music or something. And so, boom, there. Now I'm subscribed. Well, that doesn't mean he's going to see it. It doesn't, or it doesn't mean I'm going to see it. It doesn't mean it's going to be, um, I'm going to be notified in any way. So what you have to do is you have to come in here and you click on this little down button and then you have to click on all right there. And now you'll get all notifications. Now the way it says it or right here is personalized. You'll get personalized notifications, but what does that mean? I never get any notifications unless I go in here and I click on the all. And so most people are not going to do that. So therefore, a subscription really does not do you any good at all. And I will unsubscribe from this channel. And then over here is the guy's actual channel. You can come in and you have exactly the same options in here to set it to all if you want or not. And we will then unsubscribe. So we know that subscriptions are great. I heard somebody say one day, okay, well, they're just, they're just a vanity number. And truthfully, that's all they are. Because if the people are not being notified every time you put up a video, you're not doing any good. So it's your job to have to notify them when you put up a video. So obviously you can send somebody an email every time you put up a video. You can put out a weekly roundup and you say, okay, well, the, this week I, I put up these three videos. You can, as I said, put it onto your blog somewhere. You can put it on the homepage of your blog and say, okay, this week I put up these three videos. Here are the links to them. Um, so you can email them. You can put it onto your social media. You can put it onto your Facebook page. You can put wherever and you put the links then to the videos and along the way again people will come in and they will view it and also depending on where those links are google will see them as being backlinks again to the video so there's a couple ways to get again some of the signals to youtube that these are important videos and that they should rank high in the search results but what do i think is really the most important thing for YouTube and Google when it comes to your videos and they pretty much tell you what it is and it says right here on this page here we're on our channel homepage we got views so right here very first thing that they're putting into your face is how many views is this video getting and what is this ranking by views and then here average view duration what click funnels what not click funnels what YouTube wants is to get people to come to YouTube and stay on YouTube, to consume video after video after video. Why? For the same reason they want you to keep using their search engine is because they're selling advertising on there. How often do you go in and watch a video of Russell Brunson's or even one of my videos and there's somebody advertising on my video? Now, I have not managed to get my site monetized yet. One of these days, eventually I will, so I can start sharing at least a couple bucks um, off of people advertising on all of my videos. But that's what they want. They want people to stay there as long as possible, 
so they can serve them as many commercials and many advertisements as possible in the time that they are on there. So one of the things we could take a look at here is views. So I got all my videos here. And uh, there was one point I was going to show you here. Did I close out that page? I think I did. Um, I had a listing of all of my videos up here, and I think I closed the page. And it came out to be 595 current videos I have. Oh, I guess I showed it a minute ago when I showed all the videos from 2009. So if you had looked in the bottom right-hand corner, it's 595 videos that I had, and I know I deleted out some a long time ago. And also over the weekend, I deleted out well over 100 videos. I shot a bunch of videos at one point on drop funnels. I deleted all those out of my account. And now based upon what I'm seeing here today, because I have not really taken a good hard look at this in years. So what I'm looking at here today, I'm going, oh, there's a lot of garbage I got to take out of here. Because Susan Leonardson was saying the other day, she had been talking to Kathy Yoder on the uh, Funnel Hacker TV show. And Kathy had said her, her site, her channel did not really get traction on air fryers. It was air fryers, yeah. Didn't get traction on air fryers until she took out all the other videos. Now, I don't know if she just made them private or if she completely deleted them. Uh, but I'm going to start by now by making a bunch of them private. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I went in here and I said, okay, buy views, show me all the videos that I've had in all time. Well, the very first one here is one that I did on how to clean wedged, Wedgwood Jasperware. It's uh, what it Wedgwood Jasper wears. It's, it's a it's a pottery type made in England, mostly between the late eighteen to er, uh, yeah late eighteen hundreds, early nineteen hundreds, up until the beginning of World War Two, and uh, so for a while I was collecting that. Uh, that stuff. And I guess I see right here now, this was April 15 and 2015. That just does not, oh, that's 2015, not 2009. I was thinking 2005. Uh, so yeah, that would make sense. 2015, it was in that time period. I stopped really trading in it in like 2016. But down here, we got those old real estate videos that we were doing. And we were talking about real estate and mortgages and whatnot on the radio. And um, you see here, it has 10,000 views. So what does Google think my channel is about? Well, it knows it's about ClickFunnels because I found a bunch of ClickFunnels stuff. But it also, in the search results, it keeps serving up real estate videos. And when I saw this today and after hearing what Susan had said, that Kathy said, I was just like, ooh, I got to do something about that because that's definitely messing with my stuff. When you look here, especially with some of the highest viewed videos I've ever had out of the top 30, <laughs> probably 25 of them almost, are not having to do anything with ClickFunnels. And right now, I want my site to be found, my channel, my videos, I want them to be found on anything ClickFunnels related. So let's go into the uh, video analytics here. And I just want to show you this here just on two videos. So this one here, this is on PayPal version 2. And let me show you where that showed up on here. PayPal version 2 has 12,800 views. This one here on three payment types has 10,300 views. But here with PayPal version 2, you can see here the, the uh, views are going up to this point about right here about two years ago. And then it kind of flattens off. Well, what happened two years ago is, well, ClickFunnels started talking about ClickFunnels 2.0. And so people's brains started going there, and they stopped needing this. Plus, Jimmy, um, Jamie Smith probably had created some PayPal tools after that point. And so people were using his tool instead of having to do this manually. And then this one here, we have oh, um, Google Form. Was that the next one on my list here? No, I must have missed this one here. So we got one here on Google Forms, the third one down that you're going to see, it continues to have views. And you see here, uh, this is real time in the last 48 hours, there have been 10 people viewing this video right here. And this is about how to uh, redirect somebody at the end of a Google form, because otherwise you just kind of just stop there. Um, this will actually redirect them to anywhere you want on the internet once you, uh, once they are finished with their Google form. But again, when you open up this page right here, uh, when you click on analytics, first thing that uh, Google shows you here is views and watch time. Third thing is subscribers. So the subscribers matter. I think this is more to do this number here is actually the number of people who subscribed while watching this video.
So that may be an important metric when it comes to subscribers, but again, what's really important is views and watch time. So the question becomes, what are a few of the things that we can do in order to increase the, um, the number of views that you get on a page or on a, on a video? So let's just go back here. Let's just grab. Okay, now let's go in and check out this video right here. And a couple things you can do to make sure that uh, people stay watching your stuff for a longer period of times. And one of the things that I'm going to do um, this afternoon, and this is one of the things I'm going to be testing here, is right now, first off, I already have two links here. I already have one back to my CF Ninja Hacks, and then I also have one to an affiliate link. And do you get penalized if you put in links? Do you get penalized if you put in more than two or three links? I don't know. I've never heard anybody say that or seen any evidence to that but you certainly could be because again Google wants to keep you here so we don't know on that one but what I think I'm going to do is come in here and put in the playlist at least on ones that it makes sense to put in a playlist because they're one video after another after another so to put in a playlist and I may also put in okay and here's the next video Will that help? Does Google look at their own stuff? Do they see links to other videos in here? Um, and, and will that help? I don't know, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to test it, and then maybe sometime over the next month or so I'll shoot another video to let you know what my results are. But that's one thing is so, so links to the playlist, links to related videos, links to the next video right here in the description. But then also in your cards, you want to come in here and you put in a card. I only put in one card and I always put this card to the playlist. And I always put it here at about 40%. Now, I've read that you can go and look at your analytics and see when does it start falling off and all that. Well, you know, until you get at least a couple hundred views or more, you're not going to know. So if you're setting this up initially, set it about right here at 40%. I would just say, okay, here's this line coming straight down. I just drop it in about right in there. And then you click on save. And then at the end of the video, you can also put in end screens. Now, the end screens only show up for, what is it, the last minute and a half or something of the videos. And you can put in three of them. And so I always put in one here to subscribe. Again, it's kind of a vanity metric, but maybe they'll click the notification button. Who knows? Um, then we have best for viewers. So Google itself will say, okay, this viewer, this is their history. These are all the things they've watched in the past. Um, we're going to send them to this video that is similar to the one that they just watched. And then also, again, we put in the playlist here for this set of videos. In this case, it was a CF 2.0 success path. So you do all those things and you have a much better chance of people being able to stay on and view more and more and more and more of your content. And that ideally is what you want. So now the next thing we have to look at is what are people typing in and are they actually going to be able to find your stuff or not? So let's just, uh, let's just go here and let's just go to YouTube real quick. And we'll just do that. And now um, let me get me out of the way. So let's come up here to the top and let's just start typing something in. And you see here some stuff I've already typed in in the past. But let's just say we're going to type in ClickFunnels. And so we got ClickFunnels 2.0. So all these here are suggestions. And actually what I should be doing is let me get out of here. Let me go into this incognito window here. And let's do it over here so that it's not uh, affected by anything I may have typed in in the past because I'm not logged into my ClickFunnels account over here. And so we're going to come up here to the top. And again, let's just type in ClickFunnels. And we pretty much got all the same stuff. So these are all things that people have typed in. These are common queries uh, into the search engine. And so Google is feeding them back to you saying, okay, well, here are some possibilities of things you want to search on. So this is one place to get started. So let's take a look then um, at, uh, let's take a look here then at what Andrea had given us uh, for a potential title. And so let's say somebody's coming along and they start typing something in. So let's say they start typing in journey. Do I see journey crafting on here anywhere? No, nope. let's see. C R A F T I N G, uh, crafting journey, crafting journey with Rebecca. Okay. Let's see what happens if we hit enter on that. Okay. So we do have Andrea here and she does have her, her, uh, channel 
Uh, she's got the name of it as Journey Crafting, so that's good. The Oradelphi, I know she likes that, but she's like the only person on earth who understands what the Oradelphi means uh, when it comes to her name. But let's just go down the page here, and as of right now, now if she puts up a whole bunch of videos all about Journey Crafting, then we're going to start seeing a whole bunch of videos on here about Journey Crafting. But my question would be, is somebody actually going to type that in to the search engine? Is somebody going to say, okay, well, I want to search for journey crafting today? Well, I don't know. Are they? Let's say we put the word click funnels here in front of it. Click funnels journey crafting. Will it show us her site again? Well, we got one right here, ClickFunnels Collective. So we do have, again, a couple here. So Andrea's doing a good job of branding herself with ClickFunnels number one, Journey Crafting number two. So we're getting a whole bunch of that. But again, the question becomes, would somebody really type that in? If what they're really looking for is things on the linchpin, which is where this is coming from, they're looking for membership sites. Now, continuity, do people really use the term continuity? I don't know if they do or not. I do, but that doesn't mean that the normal person is. So let's just type in ClickFunnels continuity. And let's see what we got coming up here. We got one here by Russell. We got a couple other people here. But these really don't have much to do with, again, I mean, this is like people selling ClickFunnels, talking about ClickFunnels for the most part, um, trying to get people away from ClickFunnels. Um, so we got those in there. So are people looking for that? Let me see. Are they looking for membership sites? I don't know. ClickFunnels membership sites. Is that a keyword that you want to uh, put in there because that's what somebody is actually typing in and searching for? And I'll show you some examples of this, why I'm being so specific about this. Um, you know, we could do ClickFunnels courses, but if you put in ClickFunnels courses, I suspect we're going to get a lot of courses on how to run ClickFunnels. Or here we got creating courses in ClickFunnels, not necessarily about um, recurring income. Let's see, we can do recurring income. We can do that. But again, if we don't put in ClickFunnels in here, how is somebody going to know? And here we got you know some, some people here talking about how to do make recurring income inside of ClickFunnels. So that is probably a better term um, in order to attract people in, even if they're looking for the linchpin model that we're talking about. So we can put in here linchpin and see what that comes up. That brings up, well, we got Mr. Lynchpin himself here, James Curran, and so he's putting up a whole bunch of Lynchpin stuff. So maybe that's a market where we got to go in there and start branding videos with those words because clearly James is here by himself. There's plenty of room for all kinds of other people to get in there and do their own videos, okay? So let me uh, show you a couple things, and this is what, when I saw this, that really made me, made me think think about it was here I typed in one day and this is a real search I had because I knew that Greg Dakins who runs the funnel builder certification program for ClickFunnels I knew he had a, a channel I knew I had watched some videos on it and I was looking for a particular video on his channel but I couldn't think of the channel name so I put in Greg Dakins well we got one here from us over at, at, at Geek Out, another one at Geek Out, Mental Marketer. Don't know who he is, uh, but here we got the Mental Marketer again, Lauren Golden. Here is, uh, we put in Greg Dakin's name, my channel comes up. Greg's channel doesn't come up, my channel comes up because I have videos on there where I interviewed Greg Dakins. Again, back to Geek Out here, and we can keep going down. And as you get down here further, you got Richard Dawkins. So we actually come up here and we type in, um, we just start typing in Greg. We get all these different things. Hey, we got Greg Gutfeld there. And then uh, I think there's even a Greg Dawkins maybe that comes up. 
So there's all kinds of people with similar names, and that's definitely one thing that I have found is that as you go through here, it starts giving you different derivations of the name as much as anything else. It doesn't even really, I mean, it does synonyms, of course. We all know that. But it also just takes, if you type in somebody's name, it just kind of changes the name around until it finds some videos to match it. So then I put in Greg Dakin's channel, get the same results. You get videos from me. You get whatnot. And then immediately we start getting into stuff on television and whatnot, podcasts. And it's all to do with somebody, definitely not Greg Dakin's, that I'm looking for. So now let's type in the term Dan Havy, and because I have branded my channel to myself, the very first thing we get at the top here is Dan Havy. We get a couple more videos here, got four more videos there, and then we get to the section where it says people also watch, so that's not necessarily going to show your videos. And then we get more, but what pops in here? One of my real estate videos. So I got to get those out of there so that ClickFunnels, not ClickFunnels again, <laughs> YouTube knows what my site is really about and it should be predominantly about click funnel stuff okay and then it gets more for you videos and i am incognito here so i just just showing me random stuff i would guess and then just more and more and more of my videos and if we do the same thing with dan havy channel basically you get all the same stuff but again we have this here because i have the wedgwood videos on my channel Although they're not associated with my name, Dan Havy, they're associated with my channel. And so therefore, they would be showing in here as well. So right here, I got three slots that I could be owning. And uh, sorry, four of them and three of them are completely useless to what I'm working on right now. And then the same thing here. Then you got another guy named Daniel Havy. And then we get down far enough, you're going to start seeing stuff about Harvey's. Uh, yeah, um, uh, what's the comedian here? Steve Harvey. You got that and on and on as it goes down as it starts trying to change my name. So then I put in, let's put in CF Ninja Hacks. Well, this is the very interesting part here is because the only place when you put in just CF Ninja Hacks, it only finds it if it's a match in the title. Nowhere else because my, my everything is branded CF Ninja Hacks as well as Dan Havy and whatnot. And all we're getting here, so we go back to channel. Let me see. Very first thing on my channel is CF Ninja Hacks YouTube channel. And we have an at CF Ninja Hacks. So you would think it would pull this up, but it doesn't. It pulls it up here based on the title. And that is definitely one thing I have found over the years. And I remember way back in 2008, 2009, that was... Probably the number one factor in whether your stuff got showed or not was what the person typed into the search engine was it an exact match to the terms in the title. And the closer to the beginning of the title, the more likely they were going to be able to find it. So just keep that in mind. You have to be looking at words that people would actually use and people would actually search for actually words that would type in and they have to match what is in your title. So if you want people to know the term journey crafting, you have to make sure they understand journey crafting is you and that if they want to find your stuff, they need to type that in. That's a heavy lift versus how to build a ClickFunnels membership site how to make recurring income using click funnels. That's the kind of stuff that people are going to really be typing in. And those are the words and terms that you need in your titles as well. Now, like I said, there's plenty of other factors, but those seem to be very high determinants of whether you're going to get shown or not. So let me see here. Where am I? Dan Heavey channel. So we are, here we got CF Ninja Hacks just showed it based upon the words. But then here, just click funnels. Basically, you can scroll down for quite a ways, and you're not going to find any of my stuff. So just the term ClickFunnels, YouTube is not associating with me. And it's kind of random. Well, here's one finally, and it's probably mostly because it was new. The other thing you're going to find is when you put up a new video, much more likely that it's going to be near the top of the pile. Uh, like right here, these were two of my latest videos I just put out in the last two days. So you search my name, it shows you the most recent videos I just put up. So with ClickFunnels here, 
I guess there's two of them. But again, these are the two that I just put up. This guy here is two days ago, two months ago, 23 hours ago, 17 hours ago, two months ago, two weeks. Here's one way back one year. But most of these are relatively, well, that's two years ago. Further up I get, the uh, um, longer ago the video was up. Six days, hundred no, 13 days. Okay. So um, then let's go to ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels see of Ninja Hacks. So we did see of Ninja Hacks. We did ClickFunnels alone. So now we put the two of them together and then boom, now it's finding me again. So we got this one here, see of Ninja Hacks in the title. That one's in the title. Um, this one is not in the title. Um, something about Funnel Hacking Live, another new video. So, uh, but then we got a couple more right here. So by putting in the word click funnels along with Sea of Ninja Hacks, then it's associating the two of them together. Otherwise it wasn't. So that's an interesting fact there. So now we put in Sea of Ninja Hacks click funnels. Here we had click funnels, Sea of Ninja Hacks. Here we have Sea of Ninja Hacks click funnels. Flip it around. And actually I found that in this variation, it shows more of my videos. So this is Sea of Ninja Hacks with click funnels afterwards. It's showing a lot more of my videos than the other way around. So we know that it's associating my account with the term CF Ninja Hacks uh, and with ClickFunnels, but just by changing the order of the words, it will change which videos are being shown. So now we go here, ClickFunnels Dan Havy, and as you can imagine, again, this section right here is people also watched, so that's not going to show yours most likely. And so for the most part, um, again, this is for you. So there's, there are, there are putting in other stuff, but for the most part, you put in click funnels and Dan Havy, and you're going to find just a ton of my videos. And then, uh, oh, this was one we put in with James here at the end. So what I would say is when you're creating a title, what are people going to put in? If they're looking for the comedian Steve Harvey, they're going to type in Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey comedian. And you saw the video there, something to do with his wife. And I know he's been doing a bunch of advertising with his wife lately or something. You know, Steve Harvey and whatever his wife's name is. You know, those things are what people are looking for. They're not looking for, let's say he's advertising for Viagra. They're not going to type in the word Viagra and expect to see Steve Harvey. They might type in Steve Harvey Viagra or... Steve Harvey Viagra commercial or something like that. But the key words in there are Steve Harvey. And so if people know you by the term journey crafting and you know that there are millions of people that know you by that, then you want to lead with journey crafting. If you want to, if you know that people know what continuity means, uh, without anything else attached to it. I mean, it could be ClickFunnels continuity, uh, but if just continuity, you expect them to pull up ClickFunnels videos, I don't think I would. Same thing, the word transforms. What does the word transform even mean uh, in this context? So all these are words you have to look at because that's all that Google has to go off of in order to know which ones, which videos to serve up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to change a bunch of my videos. I'm going to make all those real estate videos private. I'm going to probably delete out a bunch more videos. I have, you know, almost 600 videos still in there after having deleted out 100, 150 of them. And then I'm also, like I said, where applicable, I'm going to put in playlists and I'm going to put in next video links to see how that affects um, my results and see if I can get some more views, see if I can get some more subscribers too. I mean, come on, we all need vanity points here. Uh, but mostly I want to get my views up to the point where A, I'm being served all the time and B, I can finally monetize my channel. So that's all I have for today. If you have any questions, just let me know.